Pet Life Radio. This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Welcome to Animal Rights on Pet Life Radio. This is your host, Tim Link, and I'm so glad you're joining us today. We've got a really fun and interesting show. I think it's the first time I've had such a unique author and writer and uh, yeah, blog publicist, you know, the, all in one. I'll give you more of a hint as we go along, but this is really kind of a unique thing, and it, it caught my eye for sure because there's so many different avenues. Uh, secondly, it's really geared towards uh, kids' entertainment. And third and most importantly, the superstar of the show is a schnauzer. And everybody knows, I love my schnauzers, love all my animals, but schnauzers, yeah, they uh, they are definitely at my heartstrings. So I'll be interested to uh, learn more about that. So we have Sarah Masterforte coming on here in just a minute and her wonderful king prince of a schnauzer, Bakken. And uh, we'll talk to both of them and see what they have to say for themselves. Tell them a little bit about the uh, website and everything that's going on. So it's a fun and interesting show. It'll be great for uh, everyone listening and great for the kids as well. So everybody hang tight. We're coming back right after this commercial break. You're listening to Animal Rights on Pet Life Radio. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. When we put him on the Dynavite, he took right to it. All of these symptoms disappeared. Dynavite is nutrition. If you want the dog to be healthy, you got to feed it something healthy. Something that he actually likes to eat. You need to put him on Dynavite. Dynavite for life. If you love your dog, you don't just want him healthy, you want him to be happy. You won't believe how happy your dog will be. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back to Animal Rights on Pet Life Radio. And joining me now is Sarah Masterforte. Sarah, welcome to the show. Well, hi, Tim, and thank you for having me on the show. Oh, it's great to have you on. Uh, of course, the English accent, everybody here in the States is going to love that. Of course, everybody that has listened to the show over the years know that I'm very familiar with that. I used to spend uh, quite a bit of time in a past life with my wonderful uh, colleagues in Cambridge. So I'm uh, very familiar with the London and Cambridge area. But you're in Spain right now. Yes, in lockdown in Spain. My husband is primarily a sports photographer and the light here is very good for him but clearly he's not getting to do any of that at the moment. No, no. It's a brand new world, but it's a great time to spend time with our pets. And I hear you have a wonderful prince of a schnauzer named Balkan. So tell me a little bit about Balkan. Tell me about the uh, website and the wonderful entertainment, uh, I'll call it an entertainment program package that you have going on on the website. It's really a fascinating thing. So give us the, the highlights of uh, the super pup, what he has to say for himself, and why this... Uh, uh, your enterprise here is so fascinating and exciting. Okay, well, Bokken is adorable. He's eight years old now, and we um, we got him when he was about three and a half. He's very cheeky. He's extremely intelligent, very fun-loving, loving, and exceptionally greedy. I think that's a trait of most miniature schnauzers. If I'm in the kitchen, if my husband's in the kitchen, Bokken always thinks it's feeding time, even if we're just there to put towels away or something. Anyway, when he came into our lives, he came into our lives at a very opportune time for me. I was a bit of a mess because I'd lost my mom and he helped put a smile back on my face. And I got to writing and I decided I'd just write a little book. It would probably just be for me to read. And um, it was quite easy because Bokken has so many adventures, whether it's to do with food or with other dogs. And so I just wrote about him. And from that, more books were written, and we decided to set up a website, which was primarily for the books, which are um, e-books and audio books. But it grew, and now we have his blogs, we have merchandise, we have a membership a club for kids, we have a blog page from our vet, and we have a whole load of free downloads for kids. So every day at the moment, we are uploading tasks or things that will challenge them from a testing their brain or creatively or from a craft perspective and everything that we do is to combine fun entertainment adventure and education but with different you know different um, levels so it might 
be more heavily educative on one side and much more fun and adventure orientated with something else. So that's kind of it. <laughs> yeah, and when I saw it, I thought it was really quite fascinating. And I love the story about how, how it built up. You know, it was basically, uh, I've said it time and time again on my on this show, as well as in my writings, that, you know, animals always find us. They find us at the right and perfect time. Uh, they're brought to us for uh, a purpose. We don't really know what that purpose is at the time, but hopefully we're able to identify it as we move forward. And this is definitely something that Balkan's done. And you've developed this into just a little, uh, a great, you know, loving relationship, family member, bringing him into the family, him taking control as schnauzers do, to now, I, I call it this little enterprise of all the stuff that you and him have uh, started this journey on, whether it's the, the eBooks, the blogs, the videos, the games, and it, you know, can all be found on balkinthedog.com. That's B-O-K-E-N-T-H-E-D-O-G.com. Uh, so it really, there's something entertaining and fun and fascinating for, for everybody. Well, we hope so. And he's just brought out, he's brought out a song as well. And it's a video. It's an um, animated video. And it, whilst it's fun on the one hand, it has an underlying message. It's got an anti-bullying message in it. So it it sticks with our whole ethos of having fun and education and adventure all wrapped up into one. That's so fascinating. And so now the latest part of this, I want to make sure I get this in the right order, is a Balkan, the little dog with the big heart. Now, is that the, the first in the series or the overview of the whole project? Or is this the latest uh, uh, ebook that's come out? No, the little dog with the big heart is fundamentally his strap line is who he is um he's a little a little boy but he's very loving and it's what his nature is all about there are currently three books that are available first one is Bokken it's all about me then it's my Bokken's fantastic piece of food and then Bokken's big trip to England and what makes the books different is I mean the illustration is fantastic I have an amazing illustrator but we also incorporate videos within the books as well and we do have about 10 written so far but they do take time to illustrate <laughs> Absolutely. And when you're talking about, let's focus on the ebooks first. I mean, how do you, uh, I'm sure he writes his own stories. I'm sure he brings the attention to you uh, about what he's doing, but how do you uh, put them together and, and how do you decide what's next in line and, uh, and how's that follow along in, in all of his great adventures? Yeah, he's become really proficient on the computer. Get him off. He's not, he's not too good on Skype. So that's why he's probably not so good on this interview, but um, <laughs> Well, I mean, to be honest, the first book that I wrote ended up being the second one in the series because it was all about his adventures with food or his fascination with food. And then writing the first book, which was to introduce him, had to come after that, which in a way was harder. And now it's they're written according to what adventure we go on. So, for example, we took him to the UK, hence book three. Book four and five, which run actually together, we went to Ireland for a trip and then we drove around Spain. So it's where we went, where we went on the trip, what he experienced, what we saw. So there was, there's a, it allows itself for a huge amount of education in that. But clearly he has quite a lot of adventures wherever he goes, some slightly stretching the imagination a little bit. So basically I write, then the books go to, I have a, an amazing editor and he helps me with making it more into children's language, at which point the books go to my illustrator, who sits and says, no, Sarah, how many words have you added this time? <laughs> but she is incredible. And she now has somebody who also, another illustrator who she works with, and they, put, they pull the books together. And then I do the formatting for some of the books, and then I have, Another woman, it seems like it's, it's a team of women. It's not, it's a team of men and women. So I have one woman who puts them together for as EPUBs, and then I put together the books which go onto different platforms because I'm not an EPUB specialist. And then we get onto the audio books, and my husband become the voice of Bokken for the audio books. And, and it, that was really important to me to have audio books as well as EPUBs. And why is that important to have the audio books, do you think, is in addition to the EPUBs? you limit your market, not so much your market, but you're, you're taking books away from certain people who can't read um, or who have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. less ability to read if you don't offer the audiobooks as well. And, and you also find a lot of kids who prefer 
to listen to books rather than read them themselves. So they've got both options there. All right. And what about hard copy books? Have you ventured down that avenue as well? I haven't gone that far yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> kept it all for the moment, but no, I haven't gone down that route yet. Yeah. I think I had so much to think about and putting everything together that, yes, hopefully we will get to that, but not quite yet. Yeah, absolutely. So the books themselves, I'm, I want to talk about the whole thing because we're talking books, we're talking videos, we're talking audio books, and we're also talking about on the website, uh, balkinthedog.com, that there's games and entertaining things there as well. Yeah. Well, we have all sorts of free downloads for kids, and that goes into games, especially at the moment, indoor activities. So we have um, Balkan's in super cool indoor obstacle course. And so you have those sorts of games. Then we have mind games and we have crafts that kids can do. So, yes, on the game side, there is a lot. You've also got a lot of blogs as well. So Bokken looks at his blogs from two perspectives. One, how he can teach kids things. So he, there's stuff on there about giving a dog a new home, uh, so rehoming dogs. Mm -hmm. And then it also talks about food that he should and shouldn't eat or can and cannot eat. And then you've got a lot of fun side. So he talks about how embarrassing his parents are. As always, as always, you know, I, I understand that, you know, as you may know, people, uh, obviously, I've talked about my dogs a thousand times, but I've got a, uh, a little white toy schnauzer. She rules the roost and definitely lets everybody know what the rules are. And then I've got a, a chocolate mini and he a uh, super guy because he puts up with all of her nonsense and keeps me straight. So uh, I think that that's the way it works. She rules the roost. He keeps me straight. And then we uh, have a happy family. So it works out well. Well, you should send Bokken um, photographs of the dogs because then he'll put them up on his gallery. Because we also have a gallery section on the, on the website for kids. And they don't, it's not just dogs. They can send us pictures of cats, of gerbils, whatever they have. But they cannot be in the picture themselves. It's just of their pets. I got gotcha. you. Well, you know, pets rule, so why not? That works out well for everybody. All right, well, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Uh, we'll come back, uh, talk a little bit more with uh, Sarah Master Forte and Balkan, and uh, talk a little bit more about the, the development of the whole site and the whole entertainment package because uh, it's very fascinating to me. So it's going to be fun, fun stuff. Everybody hang tight. We'll come back right after this commercial break. You're listening to Animal Rights on Pet Life Radio. Sit, stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. Hey everyone, Michelle Fern here. I have the perfect gift for Mother's Day. You know, I can't visit my mother-in-law as much as I'd like to, and that's why I love the Skylight Frame. It's a touchscreen photo frame that you can email photos to, and they appear in seconds, so my mother-in-law can see the pictures right away. And I have a great savings for you. Just go to skylightframe.com slash pet and you'll save $10. That's right. S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-F-R-A-M-E dot com slash pet, P-E-T, and you'll save $10. And get ready to receive sheer happiness thank yous from your recipient because they will love this. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back to Animal Rights on Pet Life Radio. Continue our conversation with uh, Sarah Masterforte and Balkan, the little dog with the big heart, a super schnauzer boy. So uh, I know you highlighted uh, a little bit earlier about how this sort of came about, but tell the audience a little bit more about the mastermind behind it, how you decided to go into so many wonderful avenues and pull it all into one sort of website, one sort of package, but also what's the, the time commitment behind all of that? Because there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, the time commitment is probably the easier part of that. I mean, I started writing about three and a half years ago and thought that I could be a jack of all trades. So I put together a website. I thought I'll learn how to distribute eBooks myself. And then I realized that actually the website I designed was, was rather beige. <laughs> it, was very, it was very clean, but it wasn't very child friendly. So I got a new person on board to help with the design of the website. And when we started talking about whether the, there should be photography on the site or whether it should be illustrations or cartoons, how we should do it. And it, it all came up that 
we should probably go down an illustration route. So then the illustrator came on board and the editor came on board. And as each person became part of the team, actually the website grew because I realized what their capabilities were and then just kept throwing ideas out and said, oh, well, I think maybe we should have a membership pack or, or a membership club and then a membership pack. And, and because Jamie could help me with the editing, we started talking about blogs and it, it sort of grew in a natural fashion. But I always wanted to have a website that offered kids an awful lot so that they could, there was something that would appeal to whatever part of their nature. So some kids like games, some kids like looking at blogs or reading blogs, some kids like looking at shop items. And this way, it, it just became a sort of natural evolution of the website. And a lot of people did say to me, you should start small, maybe just with the books. Kind of not what my nature is. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I sort of gave my husband a few sleepless nights as he was going, no, what else are you putting on this website? Maybe you should just launch it um, and see what kids actually want. And I said, well, you know, we can we can discover whether we've done anything wrong once we're up and running and we can adapt and change. But I want to be able to offer a full package. That's how it all came about. Wow. Now, explain a little bit about what, if they, if they go to the website, balkinthedog.com, B-O-K-E-N-T-H-E-D-O-G.com. And there are some things they can get involved in now, but there's then, you mentioned this membership package. What uh, it comes along additional when they become a member? Well, they get a, a bag, a goodie bag. I think it's about 10 or 11 items we've got in there. But in, in there, there's included a letter for parents. So just explain that we are responsible. We are very compliant legally, both with KDPRK and Copper. And every, I think it's two or three months, yes, every three months, we're going to put a newsletter in. And in the newsletter, you get all sorts of opportunities to get discounts. You have competitions. It's just a whole big bundle of fun, really. So they can go to the website, check it out now, go ahead and see the videos, download two free eBooks, correct? There's two free. And the reason why the third one isn't free is it's significantly bigger. It is the first big adventure book. So the first two books kind of introduce you to who Bokken is, his friends, what he likes to do, where he lives, and his obsession with food. Book three is a, is a much bigger book, and it is his first big adventure. And where you've got two videos incorporated into book two, you've got four in book three. So that's why we started to have to put a, a price on it. Yeah, well, that's understandable. That's understandable. But everybody can go there to balkinthedog.com, watch the videos, read the blogs, download the, the couple of free eBooks, get to know uh, Balkan, get to know all of his wonderful friends, as you mentioned, and then become part of the team, become part of, you know, a member of it if they choose to, where they can get more great, exciting things and discounts and, and games and future eBooks, all these wonderful things as part of it, being a member of the club. Exactly. Yeah. Now, I don't recall, maybe I missed this, how many hours of the day or how many days in the day, <laughs> you might as well say, does it take to put all this together? Because like you said, you're pulling at my heartstrings because I'm sort of an all or nothing type guy. If I get this idea, then I want to do it all. I want to make it as grandiose as I possibly can and then make adjustments from here or there. Now, we're not going to put our toe in the water. We're going to do it full out. But this has got to be a huge, huge time commitment. And as it continues to grow and as your mind and thoughts and, and team starts to develop all these wonderful uh, new projects and ideas. Well, let's just say I don't sleep very much. Um, <laughs> but that's kind of, that's been my nature all my life. And I'm one of these people that if I wake up with an idea in the middle of the night, it's straight to the, straight to the computer and start working on it. So in terms of hours of the day, a lot, a lot. And weekends don't really mean weekends anymore. My husband's actually said to me, right, you are taking a day off or at least half a day off so that you can come back at things fresh. But this is another reason why we had to get the team together because you can't do it all yourself. Mm -hmm. Firstly, there aren't enough hours in the day and you're not an expert at everything. You know, I couldn't do what my social media guy does. Frankly, he's happy spending all day on social media. If I did that, I would never write another book again. I would never, if I spent all of my time doing the PR, again, I would never write another book. So it was, it was necessary to bring a team together that had the right qualifications and expertise so that I could be free to do, I guess, what I do better. 
walk buck and that's the key <laughs> and make sure he has plenty of food and treats there you go yeah that's what's made me very popular with him i think i'm i'm considered the uh, the food woman in this house <laughs> that's right that's right well when you know superstars have certain riders and conditions so i'm sure you know uh, all of his favorites and uh, how to get him to uh, comply with all of your uh, wonderful ideas well, I think that Bakken, there's only one thing he won't eat. I mean, he, he's quite happy to, to, to try everything. And uh, no, he's not fond of celery, but anything else, he will have his nose in it. <laughs> Well, that's a good thing because, uh, you know, my two, my little princess, she uh, is very persnickety. Uh, it takes just the right items in the right way in the right parts of the plate. It has to be just just perfect. And, of course, my uh, my chocolate schnauzer, he's he's just the opposite. He's His favorite food is food. So uh, that works out well for him. So I think him and Bakken would get along quite lovely. Well, yes. And actually, Bakken would get along really well with your little princess as well because she wouldn't be taking his food. Oh, there you go. There you go. That sounds great to me. His name is either treats or breakfast. <laughs> you got it. Well, Sarah, I'm really fascinated by everything you're doing. It's fun. I mean, granted, I, as I admitted it from the beginning, everybody knows I've got a big heart for schnauzers uh, since they rule my roost. But uh, this, the whole entertainment package, as I call it, all the wonderful things you bring to play here, perfect entertainment website for the kids got a little bit of everything. It's great for the parents as well because not only does it keep the kids entertained, but it gets them involved. It gets them involved in the games and the projects. There's a lot of learning activities. So, uh, you know, it's big kudos. Big kudos to everything you put together here. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much indeed. Well, everybody go take a look at it. It's uh, author uh, Sarah Masterforte and her brilliant dog, Bakken. And the website, once again, is BakkenTheDog.com. It's B-O-K-E-N-T-H-E-D-O-G. Dot com. Get involved, have fun, read the ebooks, watch the videos, play the games. There's so much to do. I can't, I can't even mention all of it, but it's great fun, great website, great entertainment. So everybody go to BakkenTheDog.com. Sarah, thanks for uh, coming on the show today. Best of luck. Give Bakken a big hug from me, and we'll keep track of everything that you're doing and hopefully chat with you somewhere down the road. Tim, thank you so much indeed. And Bakken sends you a very big aru. Ooh, power's up. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Well, hey, we're coming to the end of the show today. I want to thank everyone for listening to Animal Rights on Pet Life Radio. I want you to check out the websites, petliferadio.com. While you're there, you can download this episode, download previous episodes and check out all the plethora of entertainment we get great hosts great shows and it can be found on petliferadio.com uh, if you have any questions comments or ideas for the show you can leave us an email at petliferadio.com and we'll be glad to answer your questions entertain your comments and uh, bring out the people you want to hear from most so until next time write a great story about the animals in your life put it in a blog an article a book or a website and who knows you may be the next guest on Animal Rights on Pet Life Radio. Have a great day. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs>